And those Boeing 737 MAX planes remain grounded after that door incident that left the huge hole in the plane. There were three infants on board at the time, and the NTSB says none of them was safely restrained. Brianna's back, and Brianna, there's now a safety alert because of this. Yeah, Liam, there were three babies on board that plane, and all of them were sitting in their parents' laps when the door blew out. This is technically allowed, and it's a pretty popular way to travel, but the FAA and the NTSB say it's extremely dangerous. And now the NTSB is issuing this safety alert, urging parents to buy children their own seat. On the plane were three babies uh, held in the laps of... Uh, caregivers. The NTSB is urging parents to stop lap flying with children after this terrifying incident on board an Alaska Airlines flight. We would urge uh, passengers to, to put their children under two in their own seat uh, in a FAA approved car seat so that they are secure and that they are safe in case something like that this happens. What could have happened? had a parent been sitting there and had their child riding in their lap. There could have been a number of things that could have happened, including uh, the child being severely injured um, or worse, um, you know, result in a fatality. Currently, the FAA allows children under the age of two to be held in an adult's lap. It does not require children to travel in a secure restraint like a car seat or an approved harness system, but they do encourage it. In a statement provided to WBZ, the FAA says the safest place for a child under age two is an approved child restraint system or device, not an adult's lap. So if they recommend all this, why, why is it still allowed? Right. This is something that uh, FAA certainly will be looking into moving forward. The NTSB also strongly discourages lap riding. In a recently issued safety alert, the board says a separate ticket should be purchased for all children under two, where they can be safely restrained in a car seat, something they've been asking the FAA to require since 1979. The board pointing out that parents cannot securely hold their child in an accident or during turbulence. In a turbulence occurrence, especially when it's severe, it's very difficult to hold on to an infant on your lap. Um, they may be thrown, uh, you know, about the airplane. Dr. Shahidi believes it all comes down to families trying to save money. I think this is probably a cost factor for travelers and parents um, to getting that extra extra seat. Uh, that, that's probably a, a big factor. So your car seat is an example of a safe child restraint. You can bring this on the plane. All you have to do is just make sure uh, that it is an FAA approved device. So if you flip it over, see this little sticker with the airplane mm. and it says FAA approved and it's gonna say certified for use in an aircraft. So just make sure you check your car seat. This doesn't count against your carry on baggage. So it's a completely separate thing. FAA has videos on their website on how to install these. So we've put those on our website. American Academy of Pediatrics wants this. Uh, the largest flight attendant union in the country wants this. Everyone wants us to have but it. But the thing is, you need another seat if you, if you take you gotta it. Pay, you got to pay. buy. Yeah, we've got to buy the other seat. As so. parents, we both have done this. And I we, know. It's, yeah. it's another expense. It's another expense. Got to do it. Thank